Hi guys. I'm back. It's a beautiful day in my neighborhood today. I'm here at the beach. Just about maybe a mile from my house right now. And um, it's been a crazy week for us here down on the island. Really, really crazy. I don't know if some of y'all or most of y'all have heard that we suffered a massive power outage. It's, it was island wide. It lasted for two days for the most, most part, for most of the island for about two days. There's still a small section of the island that has not received power yet. But it's a very small section. But everything else is functioning as normal. Businesses are back. Um, everyone is, you know, functioning normal. Everyday life continues. And um, <clears throat> I was just, this whole situation, I, I felt it. The moment it hit, I, I was in my office. I don't know if you guys saw my old, the my previous videos um mini s h t f parts one through four <laughs> i was giving you a, like a little step by step briefing of, of what i went through that night that first night and um it was crazy but at the same time i was you know oh god how do i say it it was crazy in the sense of you know it it, it the whole island had no no electricity, no power, there were no lights in the streets, there was nothing. Um, the roads. So it was insane in that sense. But I'm very proud and first of all was surprised because, you know, I'm from New York. <laughs> I was very surprised by... Um, by the calmness of the people just they took it in stride you know there was my I had stateside friends like yeah how did you all handle the looters I was like looters ain't no looters here nobody loots here when just because the lights go out I mean I think it happens in most of these islands you know in the Caribbean it's just the mentality hey it's part of life the lights go out and because um, lights go out constantly, you know, like sometimes it might go out for an hour or two where there's a a sudden surge of electricity and sometimes power goes out for about an hour or two, maybe three or four at most. And that's not a constant, but you know, some of the other sm smaller islands like say Croix, St. Thomas, they do go all out more. Go out, go out more. Oh my God, I'm all tongue tied today. Sorry about that. So anyway, I was just thinking about everything and reflecting on <clears throat> this whole situation and, and I felt it um, as we were going through it, as I was waiting for some gasoline for the generator. Um, Cause yeah, I don't know why my hubby didn't listen and didn't have enough gasoline storage for the generator but we had to wait online for two hours that was nothing you know I was watching how people were interacting there was people on the line actually socializing with each other they were getting out of the cars they were parked them and just chill I was it was amazing to see that and and, and another thing yeah the lack of looters doesn't happen here you know who knows maybe somebody took advantage of some some bad guy took advantage and did a little uh, underhanded thing and stole something. But looting, it no, doesn't happen. Doesn't happen here at all. And um, people just take everything in stride. You know, I there was people literally in the corners, like every other corner or something. And like if you go to the suburban areas, like in the like urbanizations and stuff, people were like like chilling. They were hanging out with their coolers with their neighbors I mean I think in a way it kind of brought people more together like how it used to be before this modernization and so much internet because before um, yeah there was TV but 
infinite, I think, has distance neighbors from each other. And when people would have been, you know, online or, um, or on the TV in their houses, you know, they were chilling with each other. They had their coolers out. They were drink some of them were drinking beers and stuff. And I was, it was kind of nice to see in that way, you know, even though everybody was going through a, the island was entire crisis. The police, oh my gosh, they were phenomenal. They, oh, you could tell these, this is not, <laughs> this is not stateside. You can tell I, I it, they were phenomenal. They were directing traffic. They were, um, you know, just patrolling to make sure that all areas were safe. And, and it was just, they just handled it. They were getting soaking wet. They were in that 90 degree sun all day. They were having, they were literally, you know, having their lunch break, a sandwich in their hands and then waving traffic through the lights um, uh, without stopping. You know, they were working 12, 14 hour shifts. And um, I was very proud. We were, I mean, the people, and the people were also grateful. They were so grateful. They were stopping by, they were getting water for the cops. You know, they were stopping at the lights. Hey, hey. And I would see them. Just, I was like, man, that is so awesome. I was so proud of how people just banded together here. It was amazing. It was beautiful. And at the same time, it also showed because at the beginning, people thought, okay, it's going to be out a few hours. But then when they got, oh, no, a day has passed. Oh, no, a second day has passed. Some people were like, oh, shoot. It's not going to be so, you know, this is different than any other time. We've never had like a, a major power outage of the entire island at the same time. And um, the electric company workers were amazing working these long shifts, you know, dangerous jobs, putting, you know, installing these, uh, putting back the electricity and, and fixing what had to be fixed. And... Um, it was an it was just it was amazing time of uh, unity as a people, as 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 an island. It was beautiful to see that, you know. Um, I loved it. it. It was awesome. And at the same time, um, I just I felt, Lord, this is just a dress rehearsal. I felt it in my spirit. I, I really felt it in my spirit. This is just a dress rehearsal. So it's time to really, really batten down the hatches and, and really get it together and really um, prepare. Really prepare. Because honestly, and a lot of people felt it too. That I had a friend who's very, very in tune with the spirit, the spirit world, the Holy Spirit, and and she was like, "This, this is this is just a test. This is just a test." And I think this woke up a lot of people. So everything has a purpose. God has a plan. God has a purpose for all that He does, and all that happens, and all that occurs, and all that He allows. Even though we'd also have the free will to choose. But God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Get ready, everybody. It was just a dress rehearsal.